bottle. So if your pencil happens to break, he can help you out with that. Pass early for any reason. Rex doors are the same doors you entered in. And this is just our basic foundation here for our mouse. Now that we have a foundation, we can add the side of our nose and the side of the circle. You can give yourself a couple of black tick marks here on either side, and we can sit the happiest place on earth. And she's got lots of friends, especially that super rich boyfriend of hers. And they're in a very committed relationship. They were drawn together uh, back in 1928, which makes them uh, 95 years old. They'll be 96 on November. 18. Uh, but when we smile, we get what we call smile lines on the end. She gets these two. So we're going right up above her smile line and right on top of her construction line. Bless you. I'm going to add in a rainbow curve. So I'm stretching it all the way over towards the side of the circle. And when you reach the side of the circle, pick out your favorite line and go back and lock it in towards the lower lip to close it off. So you're ending up with this sideways letter J or really a hook on the side of the face as well. And even before uh, Mickey and Minnie were created, uh, all these phones were really silent as well. So they actually had an organ player out in the audience uh, creating all of the sound effects. Uh, sound cartoons uh, didn't happen until 1928 uh, with the release of Steamboat Willie and Synchronized Sound. So I'm just locking in uh, the sides here of her cheeks. Uh, with all this in place, I'd say we're about halfway through with our sketch here of our mouse. Uh, so how are our drawings to be out so far? Are we having fun? That's the most important part about drawing, is really having fun with this here anyway. Well, both Mickey and Minnie have what we call a character mask. It's a black letter M that helps to frame in their face. This also acts as their eyebrows too. By jumping up towards the top of the circle in the middle, I'm going to add in a small little V shape in there for just a little middle part of the mask. And for the rest of the mask, I'm going to move it up towards the top of the circle and dropping it right back down in towards the cheek. So I'm going to push this up and out and just curving that right back down in towards the cheek. As you're winding up with a big letter N, or you can also think of it as you're adding in this heart shape in your corner as well. And I'll go back and start to lock in the rest of my circle up at the top as well as on the sides. Uh, since we're also up at the top, I'm going to give her her eyelids here as well. In uh, the 1920s, uh, her eyelids and eyelashes were up here at the top of the mask. So from that letter B shape, I'll add in a shallow rainbow and curving this over here on either side. As well, so I'm going to add in her eyelashes here too. And I'm going to add in three flicks of the pencil that sit right there on top of the eyelid. Now for her pupils, her pupils haven't changed in uh, her 95 years of life. And they're going to sit right on top of her scalp line. You want to think of them as you're adding in some oval shapes or adding in uh, grains of rice as well. I'd say they go about uh, halfway up towards the top of the rest of the circle. So I'm going to lightly sketch out her eyes and some tall ovals in there for I'll even use that construction line in the middle to add in a little separation in between the two ovals. So I'm going to go back and lock them into place. So you've got more of a surfboard being stuck in sand. Uh, the reason why they look like surfboards is that you don't get to pull over the eye. You get most of it, but the snout cover is a little part of it at the bottom. It's to show that the nose is sitting out there a little further in the sketch as well. But I also want to make sure that her pupils, or really her eyes, are the darkest part here of the sketch. Uh, Mickey and Minnie didn't actually receive uh, pupils until 1940 and where Mickey had to start 
in a movie where he had to wear a blue sorcerer's hat. He also had a battle a bunch of broomsticks as well. Does anybody know what movie or segment of the movie I might be talking about? Yeah, Fantasia in The Sorcerer's Apprentice. And of course, many followed along suit uh, from the two mice match. Uh, we're missing a few things here uh, for our little lady, right? What are we missing? Yeah, her ears as well as her hat. I will sketch out the ears first, because whenever you add an accessory for the mice, you always want to show the accessory is sitting in front of the ears, never behind or through. Uh, from where her ears sit is a 45 degree angle from the middle of her face. Between our two construction lines is that 45 degree angle. So in between these two, be right about here, and in between these two, so right about here. Her ears are also half the size of her face. If you think of her face as the size of a quarter, her ears will be about the size of dimes. It's always better to make the ears too big than too small. If you make them too small, you might end up with more of a bear cub or a chipmunk on your page. Uh, but we want a mouse, so I'm just very lightly sketching in those ears, just as we did with that first original circle as well. So using that whole entire arm to really sketch them out here for her. Uh, before she wore a bow, she wore what we call a flower pot hat. Uh, so to add in her flower pot hat, pop it here along the inside of the ears. I'm going to add in these stretched out backwards letter C's or these parentheses. And I'll connect these two up at the top by drawing in a shallow rainbow. So we're just stretching it here from one side to the other. She also has this dome part in the middle of the hat. You still want to sketch it out as wide there for her, but I'm just curving it here along the inside of the ear, just a little bit on either side. Out is called a flower pot hat, so we do need to add in a, a flower. For the flower, you can extend it out towards the left or the right. It really doesn't matter either way. I'll extend it out over towards the right hand side. So I'm going to add in a curved uh, rainbow shape or C shape here up for the stem. And I'll add in a small little flower bud. Traditionally it's a daisy, but you can add in whatever kind of flower you want there for. You can add in a tulip or a rose or even a hydrangea if you wanted to or really any type of flower. Uh, but I'm adding in a daisy, so I'm just drawing in these letter U shapes to go all around the flower bud. I'm just adding in about five petals going all around there for her as well. As well as I'm going to go back and lock in the rest of the ears here along the sides so anything that's not going to be covered up by her hat. And what's so significant about Seba Willie, not only is the first cartoon of the synchronized sound, but actually also happens to be Mickey and Minnie's birthday as well as their anniversary day is the release date of Seba Willie, which happens to be on November 18th. Thank you. 